there are two things about burrowing owls that you might not know. A group is called a parliament. So this is a little sawwet owl. And even if you're an expert like Tracy Reynolds. A male or female? I have no idea. It's incredibly yeah, difficult to it's determine their gender. There's slight differences, but they're not really, they're, they're not dimorphic, sexually dimorphic. So sometimes the males have a slightly whiter face, so we often like to guess, but we can't be, it's not a sure thing. Even the wisest of the wise can't tell if these birds are male or female. And that's why this parliament of 28 owls will live at BC Wildlife Park in Kamloops for at least the next month. The Eagle Bluff wildfire is the reason the birds are now in Kamloops. When the flames got dangerously close to an owl sanctuary in Oliver last week, volunteers rounded up all the birds and moved them to safety. We were actually able to catch them pretty quickly on the night of the fire, which was amazing. We had some great volunteers there and uh, yeah, it went a lot smoother than I thought. They're quite fun. The owls were then brought to this sanctuary in Kamloops, which conveniently is a lot like the one they were forced to leave. So it's kind of like staying in the best western in Kamloops as opposed to the best western in Oliver. <laughs> it's a good thing the birds like their new digs because... I love barred owls. They'll be sticking around for a while. Young owls in captivity are usually segregated by gender to prevent premature breeding. So the plan is to send all the males to one location and all the females to another, eventually. We don't know the results of that until we get the DNA testing back, and that's usually in September or October. So for a while at least, this will be home until the experts can determine who is who. Jesse Johnston, CBC News, Kamloops.